Hello and welcome to GrassyMath.com, where math is for everyone. Today we're going to learn the, one of the most important keywords in algebra, the keyword solve. So solving equations is obviously a huge part of algebra and you need to be able to know what it is that you are trying to do <laughs> in order to do it. And many, many, many equations just come with this as the directions and it says solve. So let's talk about what that means. Well, if you've taken algebra before, you've probably seen variables. And your teacher has probably said to you, x is just a number that you don't know, or a variable is just a number that you don't know. We don't know what number x is. So if we don't know something, it's kind of like a mystery, right? It's kind of a mystery. So let's draw a little, little magnifying glass there. Okay, It's kind of a mystery. And we're going to try to solve that mystery. So that's what solving is. By the time we reach the end of the problem, x is no longer a mystery number. By the time we reach the end of the problem, x should be a number that we now do know. And that is the purpose of solving. It's to figure out that mystery. Well, what number is it? So that is the purpose of solving equations. So the first step in solving equations is very, very simple. And that's all you need to worry about for this particular video. I only want you to learn this one thing. When you see the word solve, I want you to come down here and just say, OK, well, here I'm there's a mystery letter. X is my mystery letter. And that means that by the end, I need to have this X equals something okay x equals something so this should be your final goal when you work on these problems now many people will say oh that's not a big topic for a video it is a big topic for a video i'm going to show you how to solve these exact same problems in a future video first you need to learn how to use a goal or to set a goal because if you don't know what you're trying to get to in math then math becomes very difficult but if you do know where you're headed math becomes very easy so you must be able to have this goal in your head at all times okay the direction said solve that means i need to produce x equals something so let's set some more goals again the directions would just say solve if they say solve, or sometimes they could even say solve for n, meaning figure out what number n is, okay, but the main keyword here is solve, then we need to first, first, first go all the way to the bottom of our problem and say, well, the final, final step in this problem is n equals something. What number is that variable? That is solving. Let's try it one more time. Here I have one that looks a little more complicated, right? And again, I'm going to show you how to solve these exact problems, all the mathematical steps. But first, we need the goal. Now, it could say solve. What else could it say? It could say solve for a. But in most cases, if you just have one variable, they just write the word solve because, well, obviously, that's the only mystery number there. So what else would you solve? So we're just going to go down to the end and we're going to say, OK, a equals something. Something's going to be over here. OK. And that is what solving means. It means that we're going to figure out that mystery. So that is probably one of the most important keywords. Before we start any mathematics, we need to have an idea of what are we trying to accomplish? Because if we don't know what we're trying to do, it all looks like magic. But if you do know what you're trying to do, it looks like little steps of a puzzle. And that will make it much easier for you. All right, guys, so I hope you learned something today. We studied what is the meaning of the keyword solve. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon. And of course, to visit the website where math is for everyone, www.grossymath.com. Have a great day, guys.